Vice President of Business Process Outsourcing Council of Fiji, Ms. Josie Prasad, Outsource Fiji Chief Executive Director, Ms. Sagufta Janif, CEO of Auckland Business Chamber, Mr. Simon Bridges, CEO of Investment Fiji, Mr. Kamal Chetty, Fiji's Trade Commissioner to New Zealand and Australia, Mr. Daniel Stahl, Outsource Operators in Fiji, Distinguished Guests and Panelists, Kia ora, and a very good morning to you all. It is a pleasure to join you virtually for Fiji Outsourcing Symposium and Exhibition, Outsource Fiji's lead in the event of the many to be held in New Zealand. At the outset, I would like to acknowledge Outsource Fiji, Business Process Outsourcing Council of Fiji, and the Auckland Business Chamber for organizing this event. Tena to our esteemed panelists from, the the, from Victoria University of Wellington, Investment Fiji, Fiji Consulate General and Trade Commission, Tower Insurance, ANZ Fiji, Pepper Advantage Hub, and Mindpearl. Ladies and gentlemen, as one of the founding members of the Business Process Outsourcing Council of Fiji, I can recall the very first discussion organized by Investment Fiji in April 2017 to establish the Business Process Outsourcing Council of Fiji. Thereon, I have seen industry members band together, a reassurance that the industry boasts the support of its key stakeholders, and of course, a step in the right direction. As an industry with great potential, Fiji is, the heart, is at the halfway point of sharing the comfort level of outsourcing, especially with employees working remotely, both and during the pandemic and post-pandemic. As an outsourcing destination, Fiji is favored by cost efficiency, infrastructure, expertise, and quality assurance, compliance, and above all, culture. Whilst Fiji is admired worldwide for its picturesque hospitality industry, our foundation for being a successful outsourcing destination is evident in the areas of understanding brand goals and objectives, sharing strategic vision, and maintaining good working relations. Ladies and gentlemen, one solution gained popularity since the COVID-19 pandemic is outsourcing and evidently Fiji's outsourcing industry has made headway since the first international call center opens its door, opened its doors in 2009. I am pleased to mention that three New Zealand companies have already outsourced their services to outsourcing operators in Fiji and to put to, to good use Fiji's service offering in the area of outbound sales generation, customer care support, and IT management support, to name a few. This is indeed an impressive way of building a remote first work culture. To fully realize the potential of the industry, the Fiji government will implement strategies in partnership with the private sector in the areas of education and training. To date, the team at Outsource Fiji and Business Process Outsourcing Council of Fiji have taken great strides with the, with the Fiji National University, University of the South Pacific, and the Australian Pacific Training Coalition to develop these opportunities. Invigorating these opportunities means we train and develop our workforce with industry-specific skills and formal education to hit the ground running, increasing talent availability in Fiji. I am pleased to mention that the team at Outsource Fiji will also be launching a fully accredited Level 3 program for operations in a contact center, a program being developed with extensive industry consultation alongside leadership development studies and have done a pilot program with Skill New Zealand. 
To maintain its position as a versatile outsourcing destination, the Business Process Outsourcing, outsourcing Council of Fiji plans to work with local universities to develop talents in knowledge process outsourcing and the, in, and the in information te technology space. As a young nation, we pride in Fiji's 46% population, which is under the age of 25, boasting a literacy rate of above 90%. The Fiji government will continue to invest in the development of the education system to ensure our people are equipped to handle your business and customers because we are serious about maintaining our quality, credibility, and operational excellence. In any circumstance, it is vital for a business environment to be facilitative. This is where the Fiji government will ensure unnecessary bottlenecks are removed and with the establishment of the reforms unit within the ministry I am at the helm of, we will coordinate, analyze and work with approval agencies to, to streamline these procedures through various reforms. The Fiji government also offers tax incentives such as tax breaks, subsidies and other financial incentives to encourage investment in the outsourcing industry. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fiji government will continue to implement strategies to improve telecommunication infrastructure. And as the minister responsible for communication, I have met with key telecommunication businesses in Fiji and am delighted to share that the establishment of a second submarine cable landing station in Fiji is underway and will ingrain our resiliency and will place Fiji as an, an attractive outsourcing destination. I am often reminded of our beloved nation as a dot on the world map. But I must say, during the pandemic, when many industries were at a standstill, our outsourcing operators, manned by its talented workforce, were busier than ever. It took a pandemic to earn our added stripes as a risk diversification destination, and that we are today. Since then, many new operators have emerged in the areas of knowledge process outsourcing, digital marketing, finance marketing, and legal outsourcing, to name a few. I am sure you want to hear more from Fiji's outsourcing operators and our esteemed panelists present about the opportunities Fiji offers in the outsourcing space. I wish you all well in your deliberations and look forward to hearing the fruitful outcomes. Vinaka and thank you.